doing the cooking with wood. Uh, as you can see behind the Ozpig there, we took a huge delivery two weekends ago of ironbark timber all seasoned and ready for us to burn. And um, yeah, not only is the Ozpig gonna be producing some nice warmth for us to sit out here in the outdoor area uh, here on the sunny central coast, but I'm also gonna have a fantastic opportunity from that timber to smoke, roast, and hopefully even bake uh, some tasty and delicious foods on the Ozpig. Uh, and this season we'll even get out onto the campfire and throw a couple of camp ovens out and and get some really delicious food cooking for you on those as well. So without further delay, today we're going to throw on the Ozpig smoker oven onto the Ozpig and I'm going to smoke up some chicken wings. So um, I personally, we're going to use today a tandoori marinated chicken wing uh, which we've just left overnight in a tandoori marinade ready to go uh, to cook today if you choose to use your favorite rub your favorite marinade this cooking process will work regardless of what you choose uh, as a flavoring let's say so uh, let's get cooking alrighty so we've got the Ozpig smoker sitting up on the Ozpig there now um, I'm just going to close the main flute for the body of the Ozpig so that we get all that heat and smoke coming up through the smoker oven itself so we can get those tasty yum yum chicken wings going. Alright, so we've had these wings marinating overnight uh, just in a turnover container. So they're in a beautiful tandoori marinade, so let's rack them up. Now, a good little tip when you're racking, uh, just make sure that you leave a little bit of space around each one. You don't want to pack them in, jam and tight, and then have no space for the marinade to um, be able to breathe, because you want some of that smokiness out of the smoker to come through these wings as well. Um, so just remember, don't overpack your trays. Keep a bit of space in between the wings there so that you can get plenty of that marinade in and through the um, is already through the meat so we want to make sure that the smoking process has plenty of opportunity to uh, get around the, the chicken and give us a nice smoky taste to that meat so first rack we'll throw that straight in the smoker So, and then we'll just rinse and repeat for the next two racks. Alright, that's rack number two. Load up the last rack now. Again, just remember to keep a bit of air space between so you get that smoke coming up through the meat. You don't want to try and jam these trays jam packed full of um, uh, full of chicken to then not be able to take advantage of that nice smokiness you're going to get out of putting it in a smoker oven as opposed to just taking them inside in the kitchen. Tray number three, let's load him up. All right, so they're now loaded in the smoker. We're sitting at about 120 degrees Celsius, and we'll continue to keep that temperature for about the next 40 minutes to an hour. I do have a steam tray in the bottom of the uh, smoker oven. Just helps to stop some of the build up and flame up from being in a over flame smoker. So it's not always necessity in a offset smoker, etc. 
but certainly in this type of uh, smoker design, you do want to have. All right, ladies and gents. So uh, just while the wings are in the smoker there, I thought I'd show you this really cool little bit of gear here. Um, all alum aluminium construction, and it runs on a Peltier device to run a fan. So it's what they call a heater fan, uh, very popular in Europe. So this little fella actually will generate air movement over your fireplace when it when it gets heated from underneath. So you can see one there running at the moment. Now there's no cords, no batteries, anything. It literally powers off your fireplace. Really, really good in these little pot belly type stoves if you're just running it as a heater with the lid shut and trying to uh, vent away the smoke and exhaust out of your fire <clears throat> because this little unit will allow you to push more of the heat out and around into a larger area. Um, absolutely brilliant. Um, they don't retail all that much in, in a lot of shops around. I personally run two. One sits on the side and one up on the hot plate. Uh, if it gets really cold, both will be on the hot plate as you probably saw in the start of this video. So uh, check them out. They're really cool. A lot of different retailers sell them, but it's just called a fireplace fan. Folks, so we've had those chicken wings in for about half hour, still sitting at 120 degrees in the smoker oven. So just want to crack this open, check how they're going, and let's have a look. <clears throat> so as you can see, um, chicken's coming along nicely, and plenty of water still in the steamer tray down the bottom. So no need to top that up yet. I'm getting nice amounts of steam coming up through through that being a bit of a simmer. Um, so that'll steam through that chicken and make it mm, just absolutely tender and moist um, when we get to the end of the cook because everybody loves a moist wing, right? All right, so let's get cooking. Hey folks, so while the chicken wings are cooking there, came to me that, you know, with good food, you've got to have a good drink. And I thought, well, I'd like to try new things and what better way to find out what else there is to try. I love my beers. Tonight I'm sipping down a pale ale. Um, so I thought, you know, I'm going to hit you guys up. What's your favourite drink while you're cooking a feed? Let me know in the comments below. All right, so we're a bit over an hour and a half into the cook and gonna check these wings and see how they're going. Absolutely brilliant. So you can see in the drip tray there, we're starting to run a little low on water. Um, so I'll pop a little bit more in there, but those wings are starting to look absolutely delicious and yeah, they're still nice and moist and, and plenty of temp coming up in them. So. They'll be done in probably about, I reckon, half an hour. So we'll probably end up at about the two hour cook mark. Um, and that is gonna taste absolutely divine, I reckon. So let me just top that up and we'll keep cooking. All right, so about another cup of water should be plenty for this cook. With half an hour left to go. Just give that a good drink there. So, so it's about two thirds. About two thirds of the way full. Uh, and that's all ready to cook. So we'll keep going with that. And I'll see you soon when they're ready to get out and uh, see how good they actually taste. All right, folks, well, it's uh, that time of the video where we get to check out the tasty noms now they've been cooking for a while. So, look at that. Absolutely divine. Can't wait to get into these chicken wings. So, I'm going to plate them up and um, give them a taste run. So, back with you. All right. So there we have it, they're all plated up. They look absolutely delicious. We'll just pop these trays in the uh, sink so they get the chance to soak a bit. So they're a bit easier to clean the marinade back off a bit later. 
Get that finch a quick what? And there we have it. Nice big plate ready to serve up for dinner tonight. Um, so I guess the last thing to do, and look, it's a chef's privilege. You've got to try one before you sell it to the rest of the team, right? So grab one here and I'll just make sure they're okay, eh? Mm. It's hot. But it's so tasty. Thanks for that smoker. Um, keeping the water tray in the bottom. Absolutely beautiful. Nice and moist chicken wings. They pull away from the bone. Look at this. Clean bone. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Mm. Like I said, they're hot, but they taste great. They are absolutely cooked to perfection. So, there you go, folks. I tell you, cook a good chicken wing.